After four long, tense days, we've reached a historic moment in this election. We can now project the winner of the presidential race. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Former Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Former Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Is on track to win the state of Pennsylvania, become the 46th president of the United States. And has been elected president. Joe Biden is president-elect. He is now president-elect Joe Biden. I-S-U-P-K. Well, we are here on the backdrop of the Pentagon asking a few people uh, uh, how they feel about the results of the, act of the election. We have a young man here. How do you feel about uh, Biden being elected president? Time for a new change, you know, something new, something different. Something it's, new, something different. Yeah, it's, yeah. So what do you think about the results of the election? I'm amazed about it. You had to get that pulled out of office. I'm telling you. Considering half of this country still has the mentality of the 1930s, and I think if we can get moving in the right direction again as a country, it's going to take some time still. Right. Uh, this is Priest from my uh, Priest High School, University Back in Knowledge. We are just asking uh, brothers and sisters on the corner, anybody, how they feel about Biden, how that Biden is in office, how they feel with their reaction, and we want to know uh, what they think the future holds with now Biden is, is in office. Uh, so how do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I think uh, if you look at the last four years of the country, you know, um, it's been a tough time, I think, for not just uh, black people, but for Latino people, anyone, uh, any, you know, racial background, you know, this country, we, you know, it's, it was built on oppression, built on, uh, you know, the backs of black people, and then uh, basically anyone else that came through got exploited. And, you know, Trump really, I felt like, I mean, it was always there before he showed up, but he really exploited the kind of the tension that was in uh, well, white folks, like just anybody who came here feels like, at any moment, America could turn on them. He just exploited that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, regardless of what your politics are, with the uh, whether it's Biden or Trump, or you don't like either of them, I think for me, I personally think that with Biden being elected, at the very least, it helps puts us on the path to start moving past that moment and actually start to do effective things. What, um, what the future? What do you think the future holds with Biden now? I mean, I think like at this point, I mean, I think I've heard a lot of people talking about him as a transitional president, in that uh, you know. Like, I mean, he already had his time in his office. He's, and I, I forgot how old he is, he's like, you know, 70, 80, you know, and I really think for him, I'm less interested about him. I'm more interested in what his administration brings in, you know, Kamala Harris, you know, while, you know, setting a lot of historic uh, records for being, you know, the first black woman, first South Asian woman at the highest office in land, you know, people obviously have a lot of opinions about her, uh, her role when she was a DA in California and kind of blah, that one. So I'm just hoping that with this new election, as we start moving forward, um, I guess the future I think that, uh, that I want to see is that, you know, things like mass incarceration get addressed. I want to see things like uh, how come any, uh, housing inequality get addressed. And so as long as they can actually do that, I'm about it, you know. I think that, you know, I don't know what's going to hold for him specifically. But he has, at the very least, has people that he's bringing on with him that are trying to address those things. Whether or not he gets done, I think that that's going to get to be seen. But again, I'm all about to try to get past what we were dealing with the last one. Thank you for your time. Your last question is, do you think the problems with the children in the cages on the border are, um, and the racial motivated police murders, Will it be a priority for the new president to work on? I mean, I absolutely think it's a priority. I mean, not only do we have like over, you know, 500 kids at the border, I think what, over 200,000 people have died from COVID-19 this year. Um, and then that doesn't go into how many black people have been killed by the hands of police. I mean, I think today, if you walk around the streets of DC, you see a lot of people celebrating, but you know, I think um, as we go into, you know, once he's actually elected and we go on to the, uh, you know, him being in office, he has a lot to address. I mean, I think, yeah, like this administration, like the Trump administration, you know, really brought shit down and uh, Biden has a lot, lot to work out. I mean, right now, I think everyone's like, you know, throwing it up or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that it needs to be addressed. I mean, having children in cages is not good. I don't care who's in the administration. How do you feel about uh, Biden being elected? 
time for a new change, you know? Something new, something different. Something it's, new, something different. Yeah, it's, you know, America's always a country of change, so, you know, let's see where it goes from here. Okay, okay. Are you hopeful in um, the policies that he is, um, that he's pro- uh, proposed in bringing the, for- uh, the country forward? There's some things, yeah, that, you know, I haven't really read up on everything, but uh, there's some things that are hopeful for. There's some things that, you know, I'm not sure what to expect coming out of it, but that's, you know, that's how, what happens is you put something into action and kind of just what happens, happens. Sure. So. Okay. How do you feel about the, um, how do you feel about the country, how it's been under the Trump administration, now being under the, the, the Biden administration? How do you feel there is a difference or is would there be a difference? hoping you know things get a little bit more unified it's been pretty divided here for quite a while it's kind of you know a mess to see so it's not something to be proud of really when you're supposed to be a united country and you're so divided so you know i'd like to see a lot of more unification going forward so okay so you're hopeful that biden is is a more of a unifying uh yeah factor okay okay cool and my last question is um do you feel that uh, or do do you think that the children on the border will be released now that Biden is actually uh, in power? I don't know. It'd be nice, you know, but you know, obviously I don't, you know, exactly know what's going to happen with that. I'd like to see it happen. It's kind of a messed up situation, so um, it'd be nice to see it happen. Okay. So you want to see it happen, but you're just not 100% sure that it would happen under... Yeah, uh, yeah. you never know what's going to happen with everything, you know? It's it's a thing that's like, you know, you want to see it happen. It's, sure. you know, put yourself in their shoes. You don't want to be there, you know? You right. don't want to be in that situation. So, um, it'd be really good to see it happen. All right. I just heard that uh, Biden's is the winner. Yeah, he's projected winner. Um, that's good. That's what I thought. Okay, then why do you say that? Um, because I just wanted to vote for the opposite of a fascist. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about the future of America considering the results? Uh, hopefully we turn to a different direction. Okay. Do you think the problems of the children in cages on the border and the racially motivated police murders will be a priority for the new president? <laughs> okay, okay, well, you know, so how do you feel about the future of America, considering results? Oh, please. Uh, no one can predict that. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do as humans. Yeah. You know, so. And it, the last one, do you think the problems with the children in cages on the border and racially motivated murders would be a priority for the new president? He's going to have so much to do. <laughs> so He's got so much to do. Uh, basically, all he needs to do is contact the people that have the but do you think it'll be a priority for him? Like the, the, no, the police COVID, killings? COVID is our president right now. Okay. Mm. So that must first be addressed. Uh, but I don't think there's nothing we can do about it. Because we're in this thing. Uh, whenever he makes a priority, everything needs attention. Okay, everything. But I don't, I don't know about that being a priority. But basically, if he wanted to, and whoever's running it, if they want to shut it down, they will shut it down. I heard they're making money and some more stuff on it. Oh, yeah? 
Man, I appreciate your time there, sis. All right. All right, Shalom. We're here at the backdrop of the uh, Pentagon. We're here asking a few people of the state of the, uh, of the election and getting people's reaction. How do you feel about um, President-elect Biden being elected? I'm very happy. Very happy about it. Very, very happy. So you are you are um, a Biden supporter. Correct. Okay. How do you feel? Um, a, how would uh, America be under a Biden administration as opposed to the Trump administration? Well, I'm hoping that uh, Biden can unify this country. I think that um, we have a lot of work to do. I think the last four years have polarized us, and I don't think that our administration has worked very hard towards unifying the country, right. and I think that's what we need. So you feel Biden is the, the candidate or the, the person to unify that glue within the U.S.? Well, I'm hoping that he can do that. Okay. I'm hoping that um, those that have been elected to the Senate and the Congress will get behind the administration and work towards the goal. Okay. And final question. How um, do you feel as though uh, the president-elect Biden will actually do something about the children on the border that are in the cages? Would they release them, send them back with their parents? Do you, do you think there's an actual plan for them? Now, now I'm they sure that the administration, the the elect, the coming uh, incoming administration has developed a plan um, for that situation, which is really heartbreaking, and um, is, I don't think is representative of the people of our country. That I don't think that um, most people feel that that's an appropriate thing that has happened, and I hope that uh, they do have a plan and will move towards changing it. Okay. Right across from the Pentagon, we get results, uh, responses for, for the results of the election. Joe Biden has been confirmed to be elected uh, the next president, voice of president. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, we're personally very happy about it. We uh, believe that the last four years have, um, have just been very negative in so many ways. I mean, just the obvious fact, we're in the middle of a global pandemic with more than 200,000 people have died. That could have been very avoidable. Um, and not to mention the division on many fronts, racial, um, economic, um, all types of divisions. So we, we're really hopeful for the new new future we have that we can look towards Joe Biden to, we know that he can't do everything, but we know that it starts at the top and maybe with the change at the top, we can hopefully have some changes all across this country. <laughs>
on one hand, if I had to get real political with how I understand it, the election went down, right. it's democratic in the way how everybody was messing with each other, right? Because if, if Trump is right about there being voter fraud, that's everybody buying up. Because nobody said anything about said about it happening to say one is still the election. Okay. So I think that's democratic in the sense that we're agreeing to be malicious. But in a political sense, like in a real political sense, we just traded one racist to another racist. And that's nothing. That's just basically we just dug ourselves into a different hole instead of, you know, instead of getting out of it. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. How long have you uh, felt that uh, each party was basically a racist party? Um, was, that, was that like a new coming to, to knowledge thing? Or has oh, that no. been all, you know, you've always thought like that? I grew up in PG. My mom and dad were ex, ex, ex Panthers. They had, they, they had that, they gave me that knowledge early on about the political system. Okay. Uh, just choosing which slave owner to choose is like, is not democratic. It's just, it's just, uh, I, have, I don't want to describe it. It's like, it's just, you don't, you don't focus on that. You're more focused on how you can handle you and your people. Okay. So that's how it was written. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Um, how do you feel about the state of America under the, the Biden administration? Seeing as how, you know, Biden had, you know, a big hand in that mass incarceration and Kamala Harris oh. has been had a big hand in, in locking black people oh, up yeah. in America. I, if that it's it's just we're going we're going to a deeper police state if that's the argument. Because I remember I never seen racism in my entire life. I've been to DMP my high life, right? My bus here in the minute though. But, okay. No no but I'll finish it up. Um I never saw racial inequality until I moved to San Francisco. When she was, when she was the attorney general. That in 2013, I remember that. I remember just starting with you chill, and all of a sudden, I've seen people pulling me up cops, like, I know you. Like, no, I just got here, you know, frisking me and stuff like that. Excuse me, what are you doing? It's like, really? yeah, under Kamala Harris, I saw more inequality under her than any other place in the world. Wow. So, so when I hear they got elected, I was like, time for me to go warn them all. So, okay. It is third run for the highest office pulling off a rare defeat of a sitting commander-in-chief. With this victory, Kamala Harris is set to become the first woman and the first person of color to be the vice president. Again, CNN projects Joe Biden will become the 46th president of the United States. The question is, what do you think about the results of the election? I mean, I ain't got them yet. I ain't even, I even heard it yet. Bro. You ain't heard it yet? No, I work too much. Okay, they, they said Joe Biden is a projected winner. Okay. Yeah. So, so what, what do you think about that? Uh, I don't really call, I don't really call, I don't really call. Okay, okay, no sweat. Okay, so how do you feel about the future of America considering Joe Biden being a projected president? Like I said, I'm going to follow politics, right? Okay, okay. I don't think I'm going to do a good answer to your question, really. Yeah, no sweat, no sweat. Okay. Do you think that, okay, do you, do you know anything about Joe Biden at all? Not really. I know he's a whole army and all that stuff, but not really. I don't really follow him too much. Okay, no, that's no sweat. I appreciate the time. Yeah, no problem, guys. All right. What do you think about the results of the election? I'm very pleased with the results. Very pleased. Now, why do you say that? Because I think um, it was time to get Trump out of the White House. Okay. Now, how do you feel about the future of America, considering the results? I hope that Biden is able to turn America around the way it was previously under Obama's administration. Okay. So do you think the problems of children in cages on the border and the racially motivated police murders will be a priority for the new president? I would hope so, I mean, especially since he has a female black vice president who is also a mother. Okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you for your time. You're That's quite welcome. Have a good one. You too. All right, so we just got the election results in saying that Joe Biden won. What's, uh, what's your reaction to that? You want my like open? No, oh, yeah, your real, real reaction. What's, how way you we're feel? Fucked. You say. Either way we're fucked. She said, "Either way we're fucked." And what do you mean when you say "either way we're fucked"? Who do you mean by "we"? As a community, the, yeah. the, the, the I mean more so minority community. More so, we. So you're saying, you know the, saying the black people are more fucked yes. than, yeah. than the white people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I I get that. I get that. Why Why do you think that? Because the narrative is that Biden's party is for the minority people and Trump it isn't. So why do you feel? Honestly, I feel Biden's party is just more anti-Trump. 
I don't feel that it's very, it's very much a pushing the black agenda. Yeah. I feel that it's just, it's we're just trying to get, him, but not right, lesser of two evils us. at this point. So. Lesser of two evils mm -hmm. just against him and not really for yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about them uh, sort of pandering to us during the election cycle? I feel like they tried to make it look cute. They try to make it look cute. Trying to get the votes. Yeah, which, trying to make okay, it seem cool, like they yeah. really want to help us, but they really don't. They really don't. Okay. Okay. Uh, last question. Do you feel that even though they say they're for our people, are they going to get the uh, the Mexican babies, the Hispanic babies, off the off, out of the cages on the border? I would hope so. You would hope so. You're looking kind of, you know. How do you feel about that? I believe it when I see it. You believe it when you see it, so you don't have any faith in them either. Um, I won't say I don't got no faith in them, but uh, I don't know. Actions speak louder. Actions speak louder than words. I hear you. I hear you. you. Feel the same way, or you feel differently? I feel the same way. I feel like you know they. We basically have to keep our foot, our foot on your necks at this point. Like, okay, you're in the office now, so you have to show us, you know, that you're for Stand us. on what you said. Like, you have to actually do what you said you would do. You can't just, like, you saying it, it sounds cute, it sounds sweet, but you're not actually doing it. It makes all of a difference. I said I had, that was my last question, but since you say that, um, did they... I'm not sure if they did, but did they actually say they were going to get the children off no, the border? No, I'm, I'm not saying like that, but uh -huh. I'm saying like anything in general, like anything you say or like say that you have a plan to try to help, it's easier to say you want to do it to try to win than to actually really want to do it. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you guys' time. It's been confirmed that Joe Biden has been elected, uh, won the election. How do you feel about that? I mean, to me, it's, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? The better of the two evils. The better of two evils. So, it, would it matter if Trump got elected or if Biden? Cause I mean, it would matter, but uh -huh. at the same token, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 rather, I would rather have Biden than over to Trump. Biden over to Trump. Okay. Um, how do you feel America will look like under the Biden administration as opposed to the Trump administration? I mean, I think I can, that's, just, that's something I can't speak on because I don't know what he going to do, you know what I'm saying, that it's going to take time for us to sit down and watch what he does before we can make an assumption about you know, what, what he's going to do or what he's going to be able to do. Okay, and final question, um, how do you feel, or do you think Biden will actually do something about the children that's on the border in cages right now? Oh, oh definitely. You think he's going to do something about it? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Joe Biden has been officially confirmed that he has won the election. How do you feel about the, the election results? Absolutely the right person won. We yeah, need, absolutely. Yeah, Relief. Sure. <laughs> Relief. Okay. Okay. Cool. How how do you see America uh, under the Biden administration as opposed to the Trump administration? I am hopeful and expect to see a 180 degree change in the way this country has been. Yeah. I think that I, I well I, same thing. Like hopeful that we start to unite and that division that we've been seeing for the past few years goes away and people start to come together and like really uh, push on the issues that are happening right now, like coronavirus and uh, <coughs> segregate, I mean, separation of powers and all that other stuff. Equal, just plain equality. equality. Yeah. So you feel the uh, Biden and anybody he chooses to be his cabinet are the glue, will be the glue to bring the division divide back together again. I am very hopeful for that. I'm, I'm hoping, yeah. Hoping for hoping, that. Yeah, hoping the for last that. four hoping years we haven't that. seen that, so maybe the change will we'll see something different. Okay. Um, if there is a change, how long will you think uh, it will it will happen? Will you think it will be within this term? Maybe a year, a few months from now? I think it'll take some time. I think it'll take probably like a year or two for us to see some real change. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we're going to see some differences in uh, in politics and how he's addressing the American people, but uh, it'll take a while for I think the us to settle down and the division to kind of go away well, and you see it in daily life. Considering half of this country still has the mentality of the 1930s, yeah, I think if we can get moving in the right direction again as a country, it's going to take some time still. Right.
but I think if we get moving back in the right direction as a unified country, as one people instead of 50 people, um, you know, we'll be back on the right track. But I do think, you know, in the next four years, if we can get in the right direction, hopefully we can keep moving in that right direction and get out of this garbage that we have been in. United we stand divided we Exactly. Fall. Okay, yeah. last last question, if I could. Um, how do you, do you think the, Obi the Biden administration will do something about the children that is on the border? Do you think they will send them home? They damn sure better them? do something. <laughs> this is not a country where people are supposed to be in concentration camps. Okay. Um, so if that is not addressed right off the bat, there's going to be some serious issues. I think we'll see a lot more of the protesting and stuff being heard, because what happened in the Trump administration was when we had all that protesting and stuff, it was just kind of ignored, just like BLM was just kind of ignored and pushed off and was never really addressed by the president himself. I think we'll see with Biden that we're being heard and that uh, at least it'll be addressed in a way that in the future we'll see change, if not in his, his four years. I'm sorry, I, I said it was one last question, but you, you brought something up. So do you feel the one of the divides in this country is that the previous administration just did not listen to us? Yeah, and that absolutely. you feel that this administration will actually listen and acknowledge what we're saying? Absolutely. Right. And I, I think one of the biggest problems in our country is we still, we still, yes, there is still a black and white issue. I mean, that's been obvious and no more obvious than in the last four years. But I also think that the people of this country need to realize, yes, we are all one people, but there's a divide between, there's the 1%. There's the rich people, and then there's the rest of us. And nobody cares about the rest of us. The, the, the people that are sitting on that hill making those decisions, only concern is that the rich people. And we're all, the rest of us are all left to kind of fend for ourselves. And I think that increases the division among all of the people. Because we're all fighting and scrapping. We're all fighting and scrapping against each other to survive and to make it, which just increases the division among the people instead of being united and saying, look, this is our country. And we're tired, we're sick and tired. But that's going to be the thing, is for the people to unite and realize it's also, it's not just racial issues that are going on, it's, it's economic class issue. And it's the rich against everybody else. And I, I'm hopeful that in the next four years we can see some kind of turnaround. But until we get, honestly, until we get Mitch McConnell out, we're not going to see much unless the Senate the Senate gets taken over by the Democrats. So, so you're saying he's the last of the king's men that needs to fall? Uh, yeah. Okay. He has way too much power in this government. Okay. So do you think the problems of the children in the cages on the border and racially motivated police murders will be a priority for the new president? I think the new president says a lot. First of all, I think I know the new president. Right. He's probably going to the Supreme Court. We don't know. Uh, put it this way. I think a politician say a lot to get elected. When Obama got elected, he said he's going to shut down our Guantanamo Bay. That's what he said. Is Guantanamo Bay is shut down? Absolutely not. Right. Obama got away with, uh, and I voted for Obama. I'd like to let people know. I'm a registered Democrat, but that party has gone so far to the left, I don't even recognize it. So, who knows? Yeah. Sparks I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we do and lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two. Camp full of animals.
Bulls like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler Warhol, or even call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.